space junk is one of those problems that the future generations will hate us for. We are littering the outer atmosphere with a staggering amount of debris. Everything that humanity has ever launched into orbit will be trapped there for thousands if not millions of years. Eventually, whether it be a hundred years or even a millennium, each piece of junk will strike a similar piece that's rocketing through space. This collision will annihilate each piece due to the staggering speed they're traveling at, generating thousands of smaller fragments known as micrometeorites. These collisions will continue indefinitely, resulting in millions of tiny pieces of junk hurtling through space, damaging any man-made object we have or will launch. Despite the sheer amount of space debris, the US and the Russian military are able to keep track of a large amount of this mess. The data released shows that the majority of the debris is within 2,000 kilometers of Earth's surface, with the highest concentration being found between 750 and 800 kilometers from the surface. The US and Russia have also been able to measure and keep track of the sizes of a large proportion of the debris. The data currently estimates there to be 20,000 pieces that are above 10 centimeters in length, 500,000 between 10 and 1 centimeter, and an estimated 100 million that is smaller than a centimeter. Ever since the launch of the first satellite, mankind has been slowly adding to this ever-growing problem through a variety of different sources, including everything from decommissioned satellites to minuscule flecks of paint that have worked their way loose off satellites over time. Other than the constant addition of new debris, there have been two major events that drastically contributed to the mess, the Fengyang 1C incident and the Iridium Russian satellite collision. The Fengyang 1C event involved the intentional destruction of a Chinese weather satellite in 2007 as part of an anti-satellite missile test carried out by the Chinese government. A mere two years later, the Iridium Russian satellite collision occurred. This catastrophic event involved an obsolete Russian military satellite colliding with an operational Iridium satellite, decimating them both, resulting in the expulsion of countless fragments into orbit. One of the most daunting repercussions of all this space junk is what the future holds for it. All of this debris is currently whizzing around Earth, traveling at an average speed of 28,000 kilometers an hour, which is about seven times faster than a modern-day fighter jet. These speeding particles will continue this flight endlessly until they collide with something, and that something could be other space junk, or more importantly, an essential satellite. Currently, the calculated probability of a collision stands around 3% over five to 10 years. And as time progresses, this percentage is only going to increase. The only other alternative to a collision is for all the space junk to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Annually, we track about 200 to 400 large objects re-entering Earth with fewer than 100 actually reaching the ground. This tiny number just shows that only a fraction of the space junk stuck in our orbit ever returns to Earth. The harsh reality is that this problem is not going to fix itself without human intervention and that task will be an arduous and expensive one. However, to allow humanity to reach their full potential, the exploration of space will be a necessity.